that I will answer the phone. Please leave me a message or send me a text. And I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Yo, Casper. What's good? It's Paul. Uh, just trying to get a hold of you. I'm not going to be able to make it out to Tampa. My grandmother is uh, really sick, so I need to go visit her um, sooner than later. Um, but if you want, give me a call back and we can talk about it or whatnot. All right, brother. Talk to you soon. Bye. and he just sits there and snaps his fingers and they bring him whatever. So for me, I guess, if my dad was the king, I was the prince. And so when I would go up there with my cousins, nobody gets in trouble for anything. Some of my uncles have all these old cars that they think they're gonna one day rebuild, but they end up just sitting there for years and they never rebuild them. And we'd take the slingshots, maybe gonna shoot all the windows out and just bust shit up. It was just this place where we can go and do whatever we want at any time and no one's gonna say nothing. Like, cause I knew I had that power to just Nah, that's okay. I'm gonna do what I want. But my dad was the only one who moved away from the family. And they're super religious, mega religious. You know, that's why like if my, I don't know what's gonna happen when my grandma passes. I don't know if my dad's gonna keep it or what. I would always get excited like the street you have to go on to go to the ranch. It's like this long street and it curves in to get into the ranch. And like every time, even still to this day, when I hit that street, my, my like butterflies start going, I'm like filled with this excitement because I can't, the car can't get there fast enough. Maybe to the outside, to people, you know, to other people, it wouldn't look like much going to the ranch, but for me, it's like such a special place, man. My whole life growing up, going up there with my dad. At the ranch, I am as much completely holy myself as I could possibly be anywhere on this earth. It's insane. Like my cousin George, man, me and him are like. I forgot to get heaven out. <laughs> <laughs> of course, you gotta go say hi over here to the main event. Thank you. Love you. Love you. Love you. Love you. Love you. Love you. Oh, this is the godmother of the family of the ranch. <laughs> Qué chulo, mi hijo. Thank you, Grandma. Precioso. You're straight to playing, huh? Aww. That's how I used to be. I couldn't even, I barely could even say hello to everybody. Just had to go straight with, straight to hanging out with the guys. Now the best part. I got a bunch of stuff here. I came stocked up. Lots of hats. Oh, I got plenty for all you guys. More of a beanie kind of guy. Here. Yeah, I brought you some hats too, Grandma. Here you go. Where's Kalina, Grandma? So bonita. Yeah, right. Where's G-Money at? George, need a bag for school? 
Thank you, sir. Dad, yes, sir. That's the first part. <laughs> 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 This is it. This is La Familia. And now it's time to take a little tour of the ranch and uh, show you this place that is so dear to my heart. Well, these are my cousins. For this is my man, George Rodriguez. How's it going? Javier Quijas. First of all, let's go this way. This is where I'm at. Right here, we used to take this stair. Yeah. This is our so curve. We used to get a little chunky, but we used to grab the shit out of this curve right here. Crappiest ground, but we didn't even care. We just skated here all day, all night. We built a flat bar right about no, here. Somehow we wedged it in there. It was so stable. We just wax the shit out of the bar and just go. This is flat bar central. We used to build little like makeshift kickers out of random closet doors or something. One, two. There's another flat bar right here. They're all rusted now. I've been skating. In years three, four, five, six. That's the flat bar that we put through the gap. Later on, after we got a little more sophisticated, they stole a butter bench from the local school. <laughs> Hopefully, the authorities aren't still out for that. I was so proud of them when I came, and they were like, "Yeah, we got a butter bench," and it was like a legit one. I was so happy. It's so perfect. Pepsi machine. See, always was a Pepsi man, do man, you know. Like Mountain Dew, Pepsi. Shout out. Turns out this thing may actually be worth a pretty penny, so we might have to. Call American Restoration and get it sorted out. And then over here, my cousin Pablo. This is the squad right here. Well, Sam and Matthew aren't here, but George, me, Pablo. Here's how much of geniuses we are. Back when I used to bring the BB guns and the uh, slingshots, for some reason, have target practice on the gas tanks here. That's always smart. Tell them about the story when your dad and, and grandpa, remember, caught us making a bonfire under the fuel <laughs> tank? <laughs> God. It was the four of us, the so normal these, gang. These, these are up. just full of gas at all times, right? That's gas and then diesel. And our dumb asses are right here <laughs> and no, trying to right make a here. bonfire. No, right here. Remember, we were using the X's. <laughs> yeah, we would like get little fuel. It was like, a little puddle. God. A fuel. Oh. This barn. To me, at least, I don't know about these guys, it used to be the scariest place on the ranch. <laughs> me and my uncle's got all the gnarliest old cars that he's working on. But we would skate flat ground right here, too, like clear everything out, skate flat ground right here. As you can see, there's a lot of glass, a lot of doors, a lot of windows. We would always be back here shooting these cars with BB guns, slingshots. So some of the windows are shot out, some aren't. They'd be like, no, don't break on the windows because we're going to need that part later. It's funny, always the stuff moves. But I never see anyone moving it. <laughs> it almost like it moves on its own. <laughs> hey, this is the car Pablo got shot in, huh? Yeah, this is it right here. Yeah, this is the car that my cousin in the wheelchair. He he wasn't always in a wheelchair. He was actually he had just purchased this car. It was mistaken identity. Whoever had owned this car or owned a car just like it pissed somebody off. And uh, okay. my cousin had bought it at a police auction, and he was driving their friend Red's car on his birthday at midnight. They were going to get him a, a, a birthday present right at midnight when it turned his birthday. And on the way there, somebody started shooting from way far back. It was like a, what, AK-47 or some something type of, like that. Some it was, type it, of machine. It was a assault rifle or something. Shot right through the back of the car right here. Yeah, right this there. bullet hole, this bullet hole. And it's right here. Shot through back here. Yep. And went Peace right in the did. back seat. Right here, too. God bless Red, man. Rest his soul. Killed him instantly. The kid whose birthday was killed him instantly. Went right through, went through the back of the seat. Shot Pablo in like the spleen and then the spine. And that was it, man. Been paralyzed ever since. It's crazy. That is probably the craziest thing that's happened here to us at the ranch.